Hello everybody and welcome to the eighth video in our series of videos on the Age of Exploration. In our last video we looked at the voyage of Christopher Columbus and the consequences of the New World and the Old World meeting. So today we are going to look at another great explorer, Ferdinand Magellan. So your learning outcomes for this video, by the end you should know the names of at least three of Magellan's ships. Secondly, you should be able to recount the voyage of Magellan that is uh, pointing out to the key places where he stopped on his journey. And you should also know what the phrase circumnavigation means. So Ferdinand Magellan was born in 1480. He was born in Portugal and he went on many expeditions uh, throughout the expanding Portuguese empire, uh, including the Indian Ocean Trade Network, which we've talked about. Uh, however, he fell out with the King of Portugal and he offered his services to to this man, the King of Spain, Charles V. Charles V was the grandson of Isabella and Ferdinand, who we talked about before, and he, uh, Ferdinand promised Charles that he would find uh, a route to the Spice Islands uh, in the Indian Ocean Trade Network and proved that it was in Spain's half of the world. So after Columbus had sailed to America, Portugal were unhappy because they had had this agreement with Spain from the 1470s that everything below a certain line of latitude belonged to them and all of Columbus's discoveries were below this line of latitude. So to prevent a war between Spain and Portugal, the Pope, Pope Alexander VI at the time persuaded Spain and Portugal to sign a treaty called the Treaty of Tordesillas and this treaty stated that everything 370 leagues west of the Cape Verde Islands belonged to Spain. So everything beyond this black line that you guys can see on uh, the map belonged to Spain. Magellan believed he could sail around the bottom of South America and find a passage to this area here, the Spice Islands, proving that they actually belonged in Spain's realm of authority. So in September 1519, Ferdinand Magellan set sail with five ships from Sevilla, a port in Spain. Uh, he set sail on his flagship, the Trinidad, and the four other ships were the San Antonio, the Concepcion, the Victoria, and the Santiago. Magellan had a crew of around 260 men. They first headed to the Canary Islands, uh, as mapped in this area here. They then followed along the coast of Africa before heading west for South America. They were forced to spend their winter here uh, in a place called San Julian in modern day Argentina. The conditions here were terrible. There was no settlement, no Europeans had ever been this far before. Um, and there was a mutiny, which means that the men of the ship decided to try to take over and get rid of Magellan and go back to Spain. Um, and Magellan actually left two of the mutineers on an uninhabited island off the coast of Argentina to die. One of the two men was a guy called Juan de Cartagena and he was the son of one of the most powerful men in Spain and he had been a captain of the San Antonio ship. Um, Magellan decided not to kill him but he didn't let him live. Um, Magellan then sent a ship, the Santiago, 60 miles down the coast to look for an opening uh, around the tip of South America, but the ship ran aground. Two men actually trekked the whole way back overland in the dead of winter and somehow found the base camp at St. Julian. And a rescue party went and got all the men who were left behind in the shipwreck and nobody had actually died. Eventually Magellan reached the tip of South America and he sailed through this area here as you can see with the red dots um, and but so between the mainland of South America and an island called Tierra del Fuego or the land of fire. While they were exploring this strait the San Antonio another ship deserted and returned to Spain. So the other three ships they reached the Pacific Ocean uh, in November of 1520, so 14 months after leaving Spain. They named the ocean the Pacific because of the peaceful waters. Magellan had expected uh, for it to take three to four days to reach Asia from once they got around the tip of South America. 
It actually took nearly four months and the men were starving and they were thirsty and along the way about 30 of them died mainly from uh, this disease we went for scurvy. However, in March of 1521, they reached the island of Guam here and then they sailed onto the Philippines. And it was here that Magellan attempted to convert the local chief to Christianity. And he promised if the chief uh, converted to Christianity that he would help him in a war with uh, a neighboring local island. Magellan was killed in the fighting in April 1521. He was, he was replaced as captain by a man called Sebastian Delgano, uh, who took control of the expedition after Magellan's death. Uh, they didn't have enough men to sail the three ships, so they sank the Concepcion in May of 1521 in the Philippines. By December, uh, they had reached the Maloca Islands, but the Trinidad, which had been Magellan's uh, flagship, was too damaged to keep sailing. So all the remaining sailors stayed on the Victoria. And finally, in September of 1522, three years after they set sail from Spain in an attempt to find a passage beneath South America, Delgano and 18 men arrived back in Spain on the single ship that survived the Victoria. They returned with a ship full of spices. These men were the first people to successfully circumnavigate or sail around the world. So when we talk about circumnavigation, we are talking about sailing around the world. And the Victoria was the first ever ship to circumnavigate the world. So that brings us to the end of our presentation. So you guys should know three of Magellan's ships, the Trinidad, the Victoria, the Concepcion, the Santiago and the San Antonio, any of them are okay. You should be able to recount the voyage of Magellan, so you should know that he went to the Canary Islands, went down the west coast of Africa, he landed in Brazil first of all, then landed down in Port Julian, uh, went through the Straits of Magellan as they're called now, between Tierra del Fuego and the south of South America, that they went up to Guam, that he died in the Philippines, and that they eventually arrived back in Spain. Finally, you should know what circumnavigation means. So that means to sail around the world. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something useful from this video.